Peace and blessings to everybody out there. This is Michael Davis with another video. Now, I am currently working on uh, my anxiety presentation. I'm probably going to upload that in about three more days, three or four more days. I just want to make sure everything is right. And I want to make sure that my presentation is uh, immaculate. So, I'm going to give it three or four more days. But right now, I want to discuss uh, a topic that, you know, that I know a lot about and has gained a lot of popularity in the in recent years, and that's introversion and extroversion. Um, and what's the difference between an introvert and extrovert? And is one better than the other? No, it's not, okay? But I am going to discuss the differences and what makes a person an introvert and what makes a person an extrovert. And we're not going to complicate it because a lot of people make, make it so complicated. Okay, we're not going to do that. You can simplify things um, in a lot of ways. So, what makes a person an introvert and an extrovert is essentially this. It's how you gain energy. That's all. It's how you gain energy. Do you gain energy from being alone? Do you gain energy from being around people? That's 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 what makes a person an introvert or extrovert. If you're the type of person who gains energy from being alone, then you're an introvert. If you gain energy from being around people, you're an extrovert. I have a sister, and she is very extroverted, okay? Very extroverted. I mean, she was very popular in school, man. I mean, she was so freaking popular. I used to get jealous sometimes, like, damn, man, she has so many friends. <laughs> like, she has so many friends. And me, on the other hand, you know, I'm this quiet loner who had no friends. So when people found out that we were siblings, they was shocked. They used to, they used to really be shocked, like, that's your brother? Like, wow, you guys are nothing like. I didn't know he was your brother. And I didn't know whether to take that as a compliment or this. I was like, what the, you know, what, what's the problem? So, um, and see, that's the thing. Like, in society, the introverted is treated as inferior and the extrovert is treated as superior. You know, when there's a lot of introverts who's contributed to society in unfathomable ways, you know, you got to think of Ernest Hemingway. Emily Dickinson, J.D. Salinger, uh, Albert Einstein, just to name a few, Nikola, Nikola Tesla, just to name a few, Thomas Edison, you see what I'm saying, Walt Disney, Steve Wozniak, I think that's his name, he, was, he, he helped us, Steve Jobs, with uh, the Apple company, okay, all those guys are introverts, but we don't get credited for anything. We get misconstrued as being weird, strange, banal, boring, you know, and I'm here to change that, you know. So a person who is introverted, they tend to be soft-spoken. They tend to um, think before they speak, so they talk slowly. We live in a society where everybody's a fast talker. So if you're, <laughs> if you're an extrovert and you listen to an introvert talk, you'd be like, you know, I wish this guy would hurry up, you know what I mean? And that's why I was scared to, I don't like to use the word scared, but that's why I was a little apprehensive as far as starting my YouTube channel because I know I talk slow. And um, I didn't know how that would come off to the spectator. 
So I was cognizant of that, and I was like, damn, man, am I going to be able to do this? Because I speak kind of slow. Um, that's because we, we're we thoughtful people. Um, like I aforementioned, introverts gain energy by being alone, and they deplete their energy reserves by in so, being in social situations. So we lose energy by being in social situations. There's not there's there's, there's not wrong with that. Okay. Now extroverts are, is is the antithesis of what I just mentioned. Okay. Extroverts they tend to talk louder. Extroverts tend to talk quicker. Extroverts gain energy by being around people, and they deplete their energy by being alone. It's, 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 it's all about stimulation in the mind. Introverts are sensitive to stimulation. Like me, I never have my TV on. You know, I like my environment to be quiet. You know, I like a very quiet environment. That's the introvert characteristic. Extroverts, they like noise. All right? Don't shoot the messenger. Extroverts like noise. They like um, noisy environments. But if you put an introvert in a noisy environment for an extended period of time, they will, they won't be able to take it. All right? I think I'm done. I, th I really think I'm done. That's that's the difference between an introvert and extrovert. And one is not better than the other. An introvert is not better than an extrovert. And an extrovert is not better than an introvert. All right? We're equal. Yin and yang. Okay? It's the dichotomy of life. You got hot, you got cold. Hot is not better than cold. Cold is not better than hot because we need both. You got love, you got hate. You got up, you got down. You got inside, you got outside. You got left, you got right. Right. You got black, you got white. You know, it's 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 the it's called polarity. Okay, so I'm not here to debate which one is better. You know, we're equal. We're equally yoked. You know, but I um I fall more on the on the introvert spectrum. And uh if you're an introvert, because I have I've gotten comments. I did a couple videos about quiet people. Um, and to me, the reason why I did that is to erase the stigma of the quiet person as being weird, as being strange, or being a sociopath who who going to go on a shooting spree. Because every time some horrendous act has went on in society, they always say he was always quiet. What makes quiet people look bad, you know? So I'm just here to erase that stigma that all quiet people isn't the Unabomber. All right. Um, but I've got uh, some comments uh, and about people who've been mistreated for being quiet. And that's why I do videos to, you know, let everybody know that we need quiet people just as well as we need loud people. And we need to treat everybody as equals. All right. All right. So I hope this has been helpful. This is Michael Davis and I'm out. Peace.